been quite a lot of sparring lately and I've picked up a new punch trick that I have labelled as the R punch. Now, what it is, if Leon's in his stance and we're boxing, any time I go to throw an uppercut, okay, to block it, what he's going to do is going to bring his elbows in to block that centre line he put. So what that does, as soon as he brings that elbow in, if I can get him to react to that, if his chin is up in the air, or if it's even a little bit tight with his hand up, I can fake this and on its motion I can turn it into a straight cross over the top. A bit like the letter R, which comes up and then over the top. So I believe that the R punch, so as you come under, you turn it and hit straight over the top of it. Okay, so it looks a bit like this, all in one motion. Make him react to the cross, uh, make him react to the uppercut. So as he reacts to it, I bring this up and over. Okay, so it's kind of like an R motion. To set it up, okay, if you're doing it on the pads, keep your hands up, chin down, move your foot to work. Set it up with a couple of big uppercuts first, and then they're going to bend and up react to it. So I throw it once, and I go back to start. So I'll do it again. And the third one, on a tiny bit more distance, I'm going to come under, and then turn it over at the top. So I call it the R punch. It goes down, and then instead of landing, I turn it into a straight punch on the head. And again. Start off as the upper up, and turn it into a cross afterwards. So that's called the R punch, right? Make him, if he's in his stance, react to this shot, and then turn it over at the end of the line and clean on his head. Try and make it one smooth motion, not one back, straight punch, right hand up. One, smooth shot, okay? So that's the R punch. Make him react to the uppercut. As soon as they react to it, they blow or keep it tight, get it through this little gap here, and clock them straight in the jaw with it. That's the R-Punch, give it a try to see how you go.